Hello and welcome everyone in the next lecture video in Theory of Computation. In previous lecture video, we have studied a method of constructing a DFA. In this lecture video, we will study some more examples for constructing a DFA. Let's start our lecture video. Type 2. Suppose you are asked to design a DFA that accepts set of all strings that starts with 0, 1, where the alphabet that is sigma equals to 0, 1. Now to design a DFA for this language, we have to first find the basic string that is the string with minimal length and belongs to this language. If you carefully analyze the question, you get that basic string. Here, 0, 1 is our basic string. We have to represent this basic string using a state diagram. For this, we start our state diagram with the starting state Q0. Now, if we encounter 0 in Q0 state, then we switch to the next state Q1. Now, this transition checks the availability of 0 in the start of the string. That means whenever a machine is in state Q1 indicates that the string is started with 0. Similarly, if the machine encounters 1 in the state Q1, then we switch to the next state Q2. Now this transition checks the availability of input symbol 1 after 0. This means if the machine is in the state Q2 indicates that the string starts with 0, 1. As this string belongs to this language, so we have to accept this string. Therefore, we double circle this state. Here, if the machine is in the state Q2, that means the string is started with 0, 1. So, whatever comes after this 0, 1 should be accepted. So, from Q2, whatever comes should be accepted. Similarly, if the machine is in the state Q0 and reads the symbol 1, that means the string is started with 1. In this case, the string 1 should not be accepted and whatever comes after this one should not be accepted. Therefore, therefore, one from Q0 moves to another state Q3 and whatever comes in this Q3 should not be accepted. Similarly, if the machine is in the state Q1, that means it had already read a symbol 0 to reach Q1 and read a symbol 0 which indicates the string is started with 0, 0. So this should not be accepted and whatever comes after these two zeros should not be accepted. So reading 0 from Q1 leads to Q3 and whatever comes after this 0, 0 should not be accepted. This Q3 state is called dead state as there is no possibility to reach to accepting state from Q3. This is our required DFA. Now let's compute delta cap of Q0, 0, 1, 0, 0 on the basis of this state diagram which is equals to delta of delta cap of q naught comma zero one zero zero since delta cap of q comma x a equals to delta of delta cap of q comma x comma a which is equals to delta of delta of delta cap of q naught comma 
जेरो वन कॉमा जेरो कॉमा जेरो इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा कैप ऑफ क्यू नॉट कॉमा जेरो कॉमा वन कॉमा जेरो कॉमा जेरो इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा कैप ऑफ क्यू नॉट कॉमा एपसाइलन हेयर यू कैन राइट एपसाइलन डॉट जेरो सो हेयर एपसाइलन कॉमा जेरो दिस इज ए एंड दिस इज एक्स कॉमा वन कॉमा जेरो कॉमा जेरो इक्वल्स टू डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ डेल्टा ऑफ delta of now the value of this is q not so q not comma this zero comma 1 comma 0 comma 0 equals to delta of delta of delta of now the value of this is obtained by looking this figure here reading 0 from q0 state leads to the state q1 so we can write q1 comma this one comma 0 comma 0 so it goes to delta of delta of now the value of this is q1 1 from q1 which is to symbol q2 so here we write q2 comma 0 comma 0 equals to delta of now the value of this is q2 comma 0 equals to now the value of this is q2 as we see our final output is q2 which is accepting state hence this string is accepted by our dfa now let's define a dfa that is just opposite of type 2 dfa that is dfa that accepts set of all strings that does not start with certain string let's say 01 to design the dfa for this language we have to first represent this basic string by using a state diagram so let's start with the starting state q0 reading first zero symbol from this q0 states leads to the state q1 and then reading the next one symbol leads to the state q2 till now when the machine is in the state q2 it represents the string 01 this string does not belongs to this language since it starts with 01 it should be rejected by this dfa so we do not make this q2 state as a accepting state and whatever comes after this 01 that is either 0 or 1 should not be accepted since it already it starts with 01 that's why here we make this transition on 01 now let's move towards the state q0 this q0 state is the starting state and when the machine is in this state it does not read anything that means it only represents the string epsilon so this epsilon does not starts with 01 therefore it should be accepted that's why here we make a double circle now if the machine reads one symbol from q0 states that means it starts with symbol 1 therefore it should be accepted that's why here we make another accepting q3 state now whatever comes after this one that is either 0 or 1 should be accepted since it already starts with 1 so here we make this transition on 01 similarly 
when the machine is in Q1 state, it reaches from Q0 to Q1 by reading this zero symbol. Therefore, this Q1 state represents a string zero. This zero string also belongs to this language. Therefore, it should be accepted. So, here we make this Q1 state as a accepting state. Now, if the machine reads another zero from Q1 states, then this string should also be accepted. That's why we make this transition on zero. Now, whatever comes after this zero zero should be accepted. That's why this transition works for this symbols. As we see, we have defined all the possible transitions. Therefore, this is our final DFA for this language. Now let's compare this DFA with the DFA that starts with 0, 01. This is the DFA for the language that does not start with 0, 01. And this is the DFA for the language that starts with 0, 01. If you carefully analyze these two state diagrams, you will find the number of states and the possible transitions are same and the only difference is that the accepting state in this DFA changes to non-accepting state in this DFA. Similarly, the non-accepting states in this DFA that is Q0, Q1, Q3 changes to accepting state in this DFA. So the point is while making the DFA for the opposite given language just change accepting to non-accepting and non-accepting state to accepting state. That's all in this lecture video. If you have any queries then please leave the comment and thank you for watching.